Hello everyone, it's Kang Yoon. Welcome back to Demon Souls. This is going to be a short episode. Um, I wanted to do this before I forgot. And I almost forgot. And that is deal with this guy over here. If you remember, we freed him in Latria. He said he was here to face the demons and he would help us. Um, let's see what he has to say. I am indebted to you for your help in Latria. Without it, I would not have made it back. Now, I can go on with my work. And for that, thank you. What work? What is it? I have no business with you. Not yet. Do not be concerned. Life is hardly as precious as one might think. Is it now? Life is hardly as precious as one might think. So guys, if you... If you freed this guy, his name is Yurt. You'll notice that there will be some corpses with body with souls on them in the nexus this one here and there was another one on the stairs leading up this one here now from what i remember and according to the wiki for every boss you kill after he re he comes back to the Nexus, he will stay in Latria until you kill a boss, and then he'll show up in the Nexus, and you'll see those bodies there, and then from then on, after t every boss you kill, he will kill an NPC in the Nexus, and I killed the monk after freeing him, but yet none of my NPCs are dead, so... I'm wondering if it's a bug or something, but according to the wiki, this guy here, Sage Frake's apprentice, was supposed to die. But he did not kill him, and I'm not sure if that's because I killed a player as the monk. I don't know. But either way, I do not want him killing any of my NPCs, so... If life is hardly as precious as one might think... What have we here? Then we can attack him. Ooh. He does hit hard, <laughs> as you see. So we want to take him out, and that's why I. Yeah, now he killed him. Okay. Yeah, he's gotta die, and we cannot let him kill any mo anymore. I wonder why that didn't trigger when I came back. But I don't want to let 
him kill anymore, so... Let's try to do something tricky here. I don't know if I've ever seen him get stuck there. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Yurt? Killing Yurt does not affect your world nor your character tendency. If you were to kill him right as he exited Latria or as he as you freed him when you freed him in Latria that would not affect it um but unless you don't care about any of those NPCs it's always a good idea to kill Yurt and especially if you're trying to get the foe's ring and do Mephistopheles quest um no I didn't mean to warp there uh his his armor should be where he was I mean if if I don't get his armor it's okay I already have it but I just want to show you guys. Um, he will kill Patches. He will kill uh, Uria. He will kill Urbane. He will kill Frake and their followers. He will basically kill all your useful NPCs apart from the mate. I mean, the Maiden in Black obviously cannot die. And um, he will not kill Baldwin or Thomas. But all the other NPCs here, he will kill. So it's, it's, uh, yeah, you always, you always want to kill Yurt, unless for whatever reason, you don't care about any of that, that sort of stuff. But that's, uh, that's, I think, a rare, a rare playthrough that you don't care about those NPCs because even if you learned all the magic those are how you change your magic uh, during your playthrough so I know this was a pretty short episode uh, I apologize for the background noise it, it is snowing very heavily outside so the heater is running it's beautiful out but um yes I just wanted to show you that and um, while I remember to do it, go do it because I almost forgot. I and he did end up killing that uh, sage's apprentice, which is okay because I can still learn the rest of the magic from Frake. But all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this little episode here. Please leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one Umbasa.